get in there, poke the meat. Stop looking at me like that. It's the American classic comfort food for keto lovers. Mm -hmm. One thing I love is meatloaf, cold meatloaf, mm -hmm. hot oh, yes. meatloaf, meatloaf melt sandwiches. Sign everything. me up every day of the week. Unfortunately, meatloaf has almost nine grams of carb per half slice because of all the breadcrumbs in it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is we are going to do our own little twist on the meatloaf. In the bowl for the dry team. We have half a bag of pork rinds, pulverized. These are going to take the place of your breadcrumbs. For team meat, we have your classic 70-30 hamburger. And for my own little taste, this is pork sausage, but this is a uh, local family called Master Rocco's. They've been around since 1910. They do small batch sausage. Your sausage is beautiful and sweet. On team veg, we have green peppers, mushrooms, minced garlic, onions, and I took some of those grilled artichokes and chopped them up finely. A little bit different of your standard fare. For team binder, we're bringing in uh, the chicken bombs. So, we break those open, that's going to be your binder, just like regular meat bond. For special forces, we're bringing in a little bit of pow with a little bit of hot sauce. For the wingman, I'm going to, to help with a little bit of binding, I'm going to bring in the solidified mood juice in the form of Gouda cheese to bind it all together. When we get done here, what we're going to do is we're going to bring in reinforcements to fill in the side with broccolini. Ooh, that's going to be a side dish? That is going to be a side dish. So let's get this battle started here. We're going to take our beef, team meat, and... The monkeys our, are cheering. Our Ooh. sausage. I love the fact that you put sausage. I've seen you put sausage in like lasagna right. and stuff too. Right. Like, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, extra special. Well, I'm a farm kid. I put in the onions, I put in there, I throw in the garlic, I throw in peppers. So we're gonna throw in like four good shots. The hot sauce gives a kick? The hot sauce does give a little kick, it's more or less because of the vinegar. So we're gonna take, uh, let's say about a half cup of cheese and throw it in there. So you know what's next, right? It's time to bring in the big meaty claws. Doing it bump us, we squeeze really tight. Yes, getting really getting into it. And then we let you. Yes. Really tight. Everybody's like, don't touch my food. And then we relax. Take my strong hand, child. Yes. So this mixes up pretty evenly. But don't be afraid to get in there. Get in there, poke the meat. <laughs> Stop looking at me like that. This is the ghee that we made yesterday. As you can see, it's solidified overnight. It's not quite as yellow as some of the ones out there, but it varies depending on the fat content of the butter you're using. All I do is take it and I just smear it around a bit and then make a little bed so our little meaty loaf can rest, right? And then melt down and give it a beautiful flavor. So we're gonna take our little meat baby here. Oh my god, did you just call it a meat baby? A meat baby. Okay. <laughs> and we're gonna take him and we're gonna spank him oh on the bottom. Oh my gosh. We're gonna spank him on the bottom. Let the wrist roll, right? So you get the right kind I of smack you. on it. All I right. believe right. you. Well, after I'm done burping and spanking the baby, so we got classic loaf design. Just set him down like that. Right in there. Right there. He's ready to go in the oven. The oven's hot. I'm going to close him over. And then I'm going to show you how to finish him off a little bit later. This oven is 400 degrees. 
Uh, just cover them over. Not too tight. I want a little bit of steam to release. I pulled this out. It's probably three quarters of the way done. It's been in there for what? An hour? Yep. So if you wanted to use some sugar-free ketchup barbecue sauce to put on top, that would be perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some more of that Gouda cheese on top. Well, you can put bacon on top of this, mm. all that sort of thing, but we have sausage in it. Some people may have noted I didn't salt and pepper that because the sausage, Master Rocco's does a great job seasoning, it, seasoning their sausage. So this is plenty seasoned the whole way through and the cheese is going to finish that seasoning. So a big old layer of cheese on top. We're not going to cover it this time. We are just going to throw it in the oven. I am going to steam that broccolini. I might saute some onions. I don't know, just to throw on it. I to do some onions and mushrooms. Right. I'm going to add cream sauce to it, make a little saucy sauce. And then we have some perfectly steamed broccolini. Look at that Ooh. cheese. Look at what that cheese did. Oh my gosh. Look oh my it. gosh. Oh my goodness gracious. So will you just let this settle for a little bit now or what's going well, to go down? Yeah, I'm going to put it back in the oven in a minute. I'm just letting it rest just to keep it warm. Oh, until we eat it. All yeah. right, we're going to go live. We're going to go live, people. Right. And then we're going to go Oops, eat this. Ooh, yummy, yummy. I have to get back to my onions. All right, and I'm going to go live. I have to get back to my DIY. I'm getting ready to go live. Finish off this mirror right here, guys. This is my setup today. Getting ready to go live on YouTube. So this is behind the scenes right here. Getting ready, making a plain Jane mirror beautiful. You guys saw this on Facebook right there where we totally redid this entire border. This is just nothing but mirror. Use our Junk Monkey paint to get this design. So go over on Facebook if you want to see how that all went down. And right now, here on YouTube, I'm getting ready to go live to finish it up and talk with all my peeps over here. Woohoo! You caught me making gravy. Ooh, this looks good. This is real simple. All this is is five ingredients. Yeah. Salt and pepper are two. Onions and mushrooms sauteed. The onions are sauteed down. And just heavy cream. Reduced. Check this out. No way. Look Let's at the see. cheese crust on this. That is crust. Oh, oh that's a better view. Oh, yeah. Listen that. that is crust, man. And it held together beautifully. Yeah. It's not falling apart. Let's ch let's plate this bad boy up. Yeah. There you have it. Fresh, homemade comfort food, broccolini with meatloaf, with the cheese crust. You can do it with sugar-free ketchup or barbecue sauce or, or bacon or however you like it, with a simple cream gravy, mushroom onion cream gravy on top. Let's dig in. Mmm. We were all eating and just realized we should turn the camera on because <laughs> we were enjoying how delicious it was. I was going to say, don't act like you're tasting it for the first no, time because. You can see. You see, I've she's been like. This. This is so <laughs> Carrie, what do you think? Awesome. Mm hmm. So, who is going to try Matt's cheese crusted meatloaf from heaven? Matt's meatloaf has always been good. We've been together for 20 years, and fun fact, when we first started our relationship, started building our relationship and getting to know each other, he would cook for me, and that's when I knew Dan was a keeper. So I'm excited to share Matt with you guys here in our channel. As you guys know, this channel is devoted to creativity around the home and in the kitchen. So yesterday, I put up $20 in banana bucks available to somebody out there, somebody who watched my vlog yesterday when I hand painted these shabby sunflowers. So yes, go back and watch that vlog if you wanna see how this beautiful thing came to be. I'm gonna finish it up today, put some words on it and seal it up. That's the last thing I have to do. And so I put out to you guys, tell me what is your favorite flower. For anyone who subscribes to my channel, likes the video, and would comment below that they would be entered into that giveaway. And so I have a winner today. Her name is, 18 hours ago she wrote, her name is Don Shell. Don Shell, girl, come on down. You are the next contestant on Winning Some Banana Books. So Don Shell wrote, I love Gerber daisies. There are so many bright colors and just a happy flower in general. They remind me of a smile and no matter what kind of day it is that there's always a reason to be happy. Ah, oh, that's a wonderful thought because ain't that the truth? You can have a bad day, but a bad day does not mean a bad life. And sometimes we just need a good reminder. 
So Don, you know what you have to do. Make sure you email me within 24 hours as of this video being posted, the timestamp on this video. It starts right now. And you have 24 hours to email me at jumpmonkeypeen at gmail.com. Put winner, winner in the subject line to claim your prize. And for everybody else out there who's following along with us here at Vlogmas, we're doing 25 gifts all the way up to Christmas. And for today, let's just throw another $20 out there, $20 in banana bucks, so you can pick a gift that you like over at our website at jumpmonkeypaint.com. So you guys know what you have to do, right? Subscribe to this channel, like this video, and then comment below. The question for today that I want you to comment on is, what are your favorite things to put in meatloaf? Do you have a secret sauce? Do you have something secret, something that you just like feel like what it's gotta go in your meatloaf for it to taste perfect? So come on, please share with us. I wanna hear the goods. Comment below, what's your favorite things that you love to put in your meatloaf? And who's gonna try Matt's meatloaf? Man, I wish I could just mail a slice out to all of you guys. The next best thing is for you to make it and then taste test it in your own home. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and Matt today here in our channel. We'll be back again tomorrow. And who knows what we'll get into. Make sure you hit the bell so you never miss another upload from us. You always get notified when we post something here, something fun. All right, I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.